Hey guys, welcome back to Team Titan. My name is Leonard. You might see me from Trev Monkey videos or you might know me as Terry from Class D1C5. Today I'll be doing a dollar question where in six minutes I have to answer as many questions as possible. And for every question I answer, I'll get a dollar. So let's go! If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you choose? Japan, Tokyo, because I really like the culture there. What is your biggest fear? Fear of heights and fear of flying. I really hate to fly. Would you rather eat dog poop or berries? Uh, dog poop because I'm allergic to berry. I can die! What makes you laugh the most? Uh, Ninja wrestling. Tell us one pickup line. Pickup line? Oh, hello, how are you? My name is Leonard. Can your tongue touch your elbow? I guess not. What is the meaning of life? Uh, there's no meaning in life. You just have to like find meaning yourself, you know? Life is boring. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? Uh, I think I'm a 6. What was your first job? Oh, I actually packed chocolates at Cadbury factory when I was 16. Would you rather lose your mind or lose your significant other? I, uh, I'd rather not lose my mind. I lose my mind, I lose my mind. I don't want to lose my significant other. What's your first impression of Tian Hao? Quiet, uh, reserved, but I, uh, he's very smart. What are your hobbies? My hobbies are uh, gaming, watching Netflix. I'm a very boring person. Would you rather date someone older or younger? Uh, I don't mind both. I can uh, plus minus two. What is one word to describe your intern? Um, no. <laughs> what is your favourite food? Korean barbecue. If you could start a collection of one kind of item, what would it be? Black clothes. Say hello in all the languages you know. Hello, ni hao, konnichiwa, annyeonghaseyo, xin chao, sawadi kap. What is the best piece of advice you have been given? Uh, live life in the present. Don't worry about the future and then don't live in your regrets as well. How did you join Trev Monkey? Oh, funny story. We started when we are in poly. I know Trev through dance and then Trev was making like commentary videos and then he asked me to help him film a skit video. And yep, here I am. If you could hire someone to help you, what would it be for? Time management. I'm very bad at time management. And I hate waking up in the morning. So that person has to like come my house and like ring me up and then like, send me to work. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, McDonald's. Would you slap Trev for $23,000? I would slap him for any money. Man. Who would you want to be stranded on a deserted island with and why? Trev, because I don't want to be alone. And I don't want him to be like living life without me. Would you rather be a singer or a rapper? Rapper, man. Yo, yo, check it out. Why did you choose to do short films? Because I really like filmmaking and I, I like the art form. And uh, short films allows you to express uh, things and stories of uh, people, uh, individual or society, you know, so on and so forth. What's the first thing you would do if you get $10 million? Investing is not an option. $10 million? I'm spending all myself, man. Buy a house, buy a car, buy shit tons of clothes and like just save the rest when I'm old, I guess. Have you ever had a supernatural encounter? No. I don't believe in ghosts. What do you dislike about your work? Uh, editing. I don't like to edit. I hate subtitles, man. I don't like to add subtitles at all. What were you studying in university? Business management with comps. I majored in comps, actually. How did you prepare for your first job? I didn't prepare for my first job. I just applied. How do you prepare for a job? Vintage or hype? Hype, hype. At what age do you want to get married? I don't know yet because at this moment, I don't want to get married. What was your most and least favourite subjects in school? I hate maths. Uh, I like science, chemistry. I like chemistry a lot, even though it requires a lot of maths. What's the most unusual food you've ever eaten? Pig head, I guess. Is that unusual? Pig intestines, pig entrails, pig heart. What's your GPA? In what? Uni? Uni is 4. What countries have you visited and which is your favourite? Japan. I really like Japan a lot. I like Korea, I like Korea too. What time do you usually go to bed? Depends on the day, but usually like, I can only fall asleep after 4 years. What are the three words that you would use to describe yourself? Handsome, cool, sexy. What skills do you wish you had? Wake up early in the morning. Why is your gallery full of trees? I don't know man, ask Terry. He's the weird one. Do you see yourself doing what you're currently doing in 10 years time? Yes. I really like this job, it's my passion. Would you rather be an actor or a director? Director. I want to be like Martin Sokezi. Who is your favourite Jedi? Them. Ooh. I cannot decide. Uh, Obi-Wan. What is your go-to pose when you take a picture? How many pairs of shoes do you own and how many do you actually wear? More than 20, I guess. But like, I got 5 in rotation. What is your favourite berry? I don't eat berries, guys. I got allergies. Oh my god. If you could have any superpower, what superpower would you choose? I want to teleport. I want like, then I reach the place. So I can wake up late and still reach on time. What is your favourite scent? Uh, Mont Blanc, I guess. The one I'm wearing now. What's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? 48 hours because I was on a shoot and also I was doing my dissertation. Favourite clothing brand? 
Uh, Gucci, I guess. What's your favourite recent purchase? So I bought this watch uh, on my most recent trip to Taiwan. I really like it a lot because you can't find it in Singapore. Okay, this is like the Transparent series. So it's quite limited edition because like basically all the hype beasts, they bought the stocks out. You can't buy it anymore or anywhere in Singapore. But I managed to uh, like find this in Taiwan and uh, yeah, I was quite happy with this. How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? Uh, one hour plus because I like to like noir. Oh, time's up. That's it. Oh my god, that's fast. So, uh, how many did I get, guys? Let me guess. Is it 50? You've answered 52 questions. Oh, 52? Oh, not bad, see? I was actually counting, but I kind of lost count. I thought 50 was around there. Alright, I guess. So, what will you do with the $52? It's actually not a lot of money, right? $52. $52 is not a lot, guys. It's like two cat fares and one meal. I don't know, like a drink from 7 Eleven or like a bubble tea. That's it, like $52 in a day. Gone. So that's the end of a dollar question. Hope you guys like my episode. You can follow me on Instagram here. You can follow Team Titan here. Comment down below uh, what's your favorite question and who you want to see appear on a dollar question. You can uh, you know subscribe here, watch the next video, latest video here, and bye bye.